So I, uh, I oversaw the, the project for us to uh, migrate everything to AWS. And um, <clears throat> we, we started off with a, just needing to really understand if we're missing something here. Like, shouldn't we be moving to the cloud? Um, and <clears throat> that ended up in a study where we just kind of went through the numbers, we looked at what the benefits were going to be, and uh, it kind of just turned into an obvious choice for us to do it. Challenge was, you know, getting Del Monte, getting their the heart of their organization, SAP, to uh, AWS quickly, right? Uh, you know, there's a short time frame. I learned a lot about uh, fruit packing during the, you know, during the project. But you know, it was about how quickly could we get there. So when we actually started, we started looking at, at looking at it taking seven months to do the migration uh, of their environment. You know, and we really got into it. Really got focused on what needed to be done. We looked at a lot of automation. Uh, put a lot of automation around the process. Uh, a very diligent approach, uh, and we were able to do it, we, we thought we could do it in four months, and we did it in three and a half months. Uh, so very rapid. Uh, a lot of great questions in there, Stu. Uh, you know, I would say uh, this has become the new normal, right? It, it used to be, you know, full disclosure, dev test, training type workloads in the early days, but over the course of the years, we've taken a lot of learnings, you know, with partners like Accenture, and customers like Del Monte, and we've taken those learnings and put them back into the platform. So what you see today is a platform that a, a partner like you know, Accenture could come and build a lot of automation tooling around to reduce time frames from seven, seven months down to three and a half. Um, and I think it was uh, around 200 servers, yep. 50 of those were SAP related, uh, and 25 terabytes of data that were moved uh, you know, in, a, in a, a short amount of time. Yep. So it's, it's a combination of you know, years worth of effort to build a platform that is scalable, is resilient, and flexible. Uh, as well as you know the work that we've done directly with SAP that's gone right back in, right back into the platform. Yeah, so we 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 go end to end, right? So we start out with strategy, you know, uh, we start out with the migration, right? The migration takes planning and execution, uh, but really, you know, we really focus in the run area as well, using our Accenture Cloud platform uh, and tooling that we built. Really focus on how do you continue to optimize? How do you continue to improve performance? How do you govern? Uh, you know, how do you do things like quota and security management and that type of stuff? So. You know, I, I do think a lot of our, our customers start with cloud and think, hey, I can spin this stuff up, I can run it, I can run it just like I ran my on-premise data center, and it's not the same. Uh, it's, you know, you go from a capacity planning uh, person to a, uh, a cost management person, right? You need to have a cloud architect understanding how you build your applications to be cloud ready and AWS ready. You have know, a lot of great services, but if you're not taking advantage of those services, you can't auto scale, you can't do that stuff. So, you know, we really help our clients go through that entire process and make sure they're getting the most value out of AWS uh, all the way through their run for many years after they've done the migration. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I think, um, you know, Accenture's been an amazing partner. I think a lot of people are skeptical about running their entire enterprise um, across the, the network and, and once you kind of bring them in and you really, you really let, you, you let them look under the cover of what, what you have and, um, one of the reasons that we went with them was just the, the trust and the confidence that they had that, that we could do this.